Men Trading Post, Kansas, and this is uh, known as one of the oldest settlements, uh, or, or maybe possibly the oldest uh, area where, that's been continuously settled in the entire state of Kansas. And uh, was just planning on stopping by for a quick stop and check things out, and was fortunate enough to meet uh, kind of the, the best person that knows everything about Trading Post. So instead of me talking about it, I'm gonna uh, have my new friend Allison, she's going to show us around uh, the historical parts of Trading Post. It was part of Fort Lincoln, which was a fort that was built here by Winfield Scott. Came down once he left the Westport and was trying to get to Fort Scott. And he camped out on this hill right here the night before the Battle of Mine Creek. Across 69 Highway is another hill is where the Union was at. And so they had a battle here back and forth um, the night before. Basically, the night before, they completely burnt down our, our village and took everything and lots of men died here and went on down to the Battle of Mine Creek. We were established in 1825 by the Choteau family. We were established as a French fur trading company. So right here we have the Osage and the Miami and the Potawatomi. The Osage were native to this land here. Then in 1838, the Potawatomi Trail of Death, uh, well, what is now known as the Potawatomi Trail of Death, they came down off of the military road and settled uh, near Centerville. It was called Sugar Creek Mission. It's now known as St. Philippine Duchesne Park. And here we have just different artifacts. We had a button factory on the river here. And so they would use these muzzles and they would punch them out and make buttons. Lots of furs. Obviously it was a fur trading establishment. We were close to the border, so there was always a lot of fighting to be free or to be slave states. So basically, Charles Hamilton had formed a group, and they were they had already been living here. Uh, but basically, they came in. I don't know exactly if something had angered him, but they came into Trading Post and took a few men. They started heading out towards the Mersey Massacre site, but on the way, he, he gathered more men. So a total of 11 men, five were killed, five were wounded, one was uninjured, he faked his death. John Brown was in Osawatomi, Kansas, and heard about the massacre, and he came here, and Charles Hatzel had got back, he bought the land, and he allowed John Brown to build the cabin. This is the original cabin door. The cabin is not at the site anymore, but this is the original John Brown cabin door that he came here and he built on this property. John Brown's Parallels were wrote in this cabin. Um, this is what he sent to Abraham Lincoln. There's the parallels there. That's mainly probably what we're mm -hmm. no, most, I, I guess, historically known for um, would be the massacre. You know, we were, we were established, we had settlement here, we were already trading with the Indians on the Meredith River. That was pre Civil War, and then Civil War obviously happens. So this is kind of the section with our Civil War artifacts that were found here or close to here. These are actually from Fort Lincoln. So if you're out and about, Fort Lincoln was built in Wynn County. It was closer to Fulton, Kansas. And this is where the first African-American infantry was formed ever in the history of the United States it was at Fort Lincoln. Uh, this is the Amos Tubbs. He was a drummer at the Battle of Main Creek in the Civil War. So this is his original drum right here. And on the bottom side, there's actually still bullet holes. These are the Civil War muster out robot boards. So basically anyone that fought in the Civil War in Lynn County is placed on here. If they if they died, if they lost a limb, if they were, you know, let go, anything like that. So William Engel and his wife, he was our first doctor. And this is his son, Fred. So this is later on, but uh, and that is actual christening gown. 
He was our first doctor in training post. These are all of his, his tools that he used at his doctor's office here in training post. So I thought that was just pretty awesome that we still have all of that here. My great grandfather, Charles Murray, he built and founded this museum and historical society in 1974. My family actually homesteaded here in 1858 and we still live and farm on the same land. This is a picture of William Priestley. They're from Lincolnshire, England. They came here. William Priestley came here with his family. Richard Rowe was a stowaway and they landed in Canada and from Canada came down to Illinois. And then from there, they met Abraham Lincoln and Richard Rowe actually played baseball with Abraham Lincoln and he told them about Kansas. And so they came to Kansas and homesteaded here for five years. The Tubbs family took this Tubbs cabin right here and they actually lived in that. Amos Tubbs was raised in this house. And he also, later on, he was into history and this was actually the first Lynn County Museum ever. the things to see in Trading Post is the cemetery. A uh, very interesting place to, to walk around and check out. It's right here next to the museum. One of the things I was most interested in was over here in the corner, way back in the back, this is John Lacey. He died at 14 years old and he's buried back here in the corner because at that time in history here, blacks couldn't be uh, buried in the cemetery up in the middle with everybody else. They had to be over here in their own section in the corner. And, and so you can see where the rest of the cemetery is. And, and next, to, next to him is some ancestors of Gordon Parks, who was a prominent U.S. documentary photojournalist through the uh, civil rights era and, and even uh, made a movie in nearby Mound City. Thanks a lot to Allison for her tour of the historic town of Trading Post. I'm here on the uh, Marais de Zine River, and which was obviously the, the reason why this became such an important place and a uh, very, very beautiful area. Please support Trading Post as they are you know, trying to work on getting a grant to improve some of the areas. And this is not too far from Kansas City. So if you're in Kansas City, it's a real quick uh, shot down the road and you can check out some really cool historical places. Mm -hmm.